If you're considering a move to Thompson Station, Tennessee, but you want to know the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, the absurd and the ridiculous. Wait, those were two bad things. If you just like the honest truth about what it's like living in Thompson Station, I've got you covered. We're going to go over four pros and five cons of living in Thompson Station. And yes, there are some things about living here that frankly kind of suck. So get ready because I'm getting started right now. One of my favorite memories of Thompson Station is when I got to help one of my first clients in my career as a real estate agent buy a home here and start his own farm. Thompson Station was the perfect place to do it and it's so fulfilling and rewarding to see him make his dreams come true. My name is Stephen Bay and if you're considering a move to Middle Tennessee, I would be honored to help you make a smooth move here. My team specializes in relocation for people just like you. So we invite you to give us a call, send us a text or send us an email and you can find our contact information in the description of this video. Now let's kick this off with the good stuff and talk about the pros of living in Thompson Station, Tennessee, starting with pro number four, the schools. Thompson Station is part of Williamson County, which has a school district widely renowned as the best in the state. More than that, there's some incredible individual schools here worth talking about. One of the most highly regarded schools in the area is Independence High, which has the rare ranking of 10 out of 10 on greatschools.org with top tier marks in test scores and student progress. Several other schools that you may be zoned for when you move to Thompson Station are Bethesda Elementary, Heritage Middle, Summit High, and the newly built Thompson Station Elementary and Middle Schools, all with high marks of academic achievement. These schools provide families public education of the highest quality all the way through high school. And with Nashville having prestigious institutions of higher learning such as Vanderbilt University, there's a path for students here from diaper to degree. If you'd like to learn more about Thompson Station schools, I've included a link in the description. Something else that families love in Thompson Station besides the schools is pro number three, the parks. And it's one of my favorite things about Thompson Station as well. This small town has packed within its borders four wonderful parks, including Heritage Park, Sarah Benson Park, Preservation Park, and Neutro Dog Park. Each of these parks includes lovely walking trails, but one of the really special features is that some of these parks have interconnected trails leading from one park to the next, with trails in the works that will lead right into some of the most popular neighborhoods in Thompson Station. Highlighting a few here, Heritage Park sits right next to Heritage Elementary and Middle Schools and spans 26 acres, boasting several dedicated sports fields and offering multiple playgrounds designed for kids of different age groups, as well as equipped picnic spots perfect for family get-togethers or events. Neutro Dog Park includes two different fenced areas for large and small dogs with plenty of space for your canine companion to run. And Preservation Park spans 200 acres of preserved historic land. This impressive greenway with extensive trails has a master plan to extend those trails even further and add features such as an amphitheater, community gardens, and an education center. Next up is pro number two, location. Thompson Station's location might be one of its best features. It is sandwiched right between Franklin and Spring Hill, giving residents easy access to both of these Tennessee towns plethora of amenities. But convenient travel to these towns isn't all because Thompson Station is located right next to I-65, giving direct access to Nashville, as well as Highway 840, which runs east into Murfreesboro and west into Dixon. Thompson Station is also only about 30 miles from the Nashville airport, with a route that is basically highways all the way to the airport, making travel even to other states very convenient. Thompson Station's strategic location gives it a blend of small town charm and easy access to urban amenities. 
And as mentioned before, residing in Williamson County comes with the advantage of fantastic schools, as well as a strong record of safety and tight-knit communities. Now, it's almost time to talk about the cons of living in Thompson Station and some of the things you may not like about living here. But first is something I fell in love with on my very first visit to Thompson Station, and that's its historic charm. The town of Thompson Station was known as White House in the early 1830s, then Littlebury in 1836, and it wasn't until 1856 when Dr. Elijah Thompson donated the land on which the village was built that the name Thompson's Station took root. His land donation allowed for the construction of a train station, which was pivotal for the town's development. The community here prides itself on preserving its historic landmarks, with buildings like the Thompson Station Bank, the old train depot, and several historic homes standing as reminders of the town's rich past. I love visiting the original train depot, which is no longer a running train depot, but holds a train replica built in 1993 to honor the city's namesake. The Battle of Thompson Station occurred during the Civil War here on March 5th of 1863, with the aforementioned Preservation Park being a part of the battlefield and the reason for its naming and preservation. While Thompson Station continues to grow, it's apparent that the residents here take the preservation of the town's history very seriously, and it gives Thompson Station a unique historic charm that I hope remains for generations to come. Now, I think it's time that the train leaves the station because we gotta talk about the not so good things about living in Thompson Station. I've got five of them for you, starting with con number five, limited jobs. Not to mistake this with the Nashville metro area at large, which has the number one job market in the country, but talking more specifically about job opportunities within Thompson Station itself. Thompson Station is a town that simply doesn't have much in the way of job opportunities. If living in the same town you work is a necessity for you, you may need to either run your own business or Thompson Station might not be right for you. If you love to eat like I do, this next one might be a deal breaker because Thompson Station has very few restaurants. Now, what it does have is pretty amazing. The Circa Grill, which I've talked about multiple times on this channel, provides a wonderful fine dining experience, and people come from far and wide to eat there. But Circa is about the only claim to fame Thompson Station residents have when it comes to restaurants. There is a recent addition in Tollgate Village called Mojo's Tacos that I quite like, but otherwise Otherwise, you're gonna have to go up into Franklin or down into Spring Hill, even if all you're looking for is some fast food. The next problem with life in Thompson Station is related to the previous two, and that's Thompson Station's lack of amenities. While of course the city has some great schools and wonderful parks, as you might have guessed, there's not much else in the way of amenities here. If you're looking to have a day of retail therapy, you're gonna need to head south to the crossings of Spring Hill or up north to the Cool Springs Galleria Mall in Franklin. If you're looking for a fun night on the town or a place to take the kids besides a nature park, again, you're gonna have to leave Thompson Station. Speaking of the nightlife, while Thompson Station does have company distilling, which is a charming place to have a nightcap, they do close at 7 p.m. And so if you're looking for a local bar scene, again, Thompson Station simply doesn't have much to offer. And as is a problem with Nashville at large, there isn't much in the way of public transportation in Thompson Station. So if you plan to move here, it's pretty necessary to have your own car. Now, speaking of cars, that leads me into my next problem of living here, which is con number two, the traffic. This problem is compounded by the number one issue on my list, which I'll get to next, as well as the issues on 31, also known as Columbia Pike. This is such a highly trafficked road because it conveniently travels between Spring Hill, Thompson Station, and Franklin, and condenses into one lane in each direction. 
While issues on this road are admittedly worse down in Spring Hill, you will still see some pretty long backups at traffic lights within Thompson Station. Additionally, while Thompson Station does have that easy access to 840 and I-65 for travel and commutes, these roads can be absolutely swarming with vehicles during rush hours. And Nashville's traffic problems extend all the way out to this quaint suburb. A new I-65 exit and other plans are in the works to help alleviate traffic problems in the area, but this may only serve to slow down the problems caused by con number one, the rapid growth. Since the year 2010, Thompson Station has quadrupled its population, going from around 2,000 residents to well over 8,000 residents in that short time, with more and more people moving here all the time. Now, don't get me wrong, Thompson Station has the room to grow while maintaining its historic and small town feel, but this rapid growth has strained infrastructure and contributed to the aforementioned traffic problems. And while the town has grown in residents, as I mentioned before, there's not much in the way of amenities for those residents. The town simply isn't keeping up with this shift in population. This growth can also potentially lead to overloaded classrooms, but so far Thompson Station schools have managed to keep up with the growth. If you're looking for a place to live with that small town feel, Thompson Station is still a place that I think you will love to call home, but just be aware of what the town's rapid growth can mean for the future. There's a few things I didn't tell you about Thompson Station yet, so if you're game, I'd love to give you a tour. Check out this video. I'm always posting more content about living in Nashville, so subscribe if you'd like me to keep you updated. And leave me a comment on what part of Nashville you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching, and I certainly hope to Tennessee you soon.